guys so in this video or in this training i'll be showing you how to open a kobo writing life account so first of all you go to your browser once you come to your browser type kobo writing life right kobo writing life come here the second thing you see here this one they said kobo um self-publishing ebook audiobook click on it once you get here this menu will appear when sometimes when you come here it's going to appear like this it's going to appear like this so you click on this three dot line at the top and put your phone on desktop sites so we want it to have a broader view okay so you click on get started then it's going to drop out this way now if you're new to kobo or if you're here i will assume you're new to kobo but before we continue i want to, to explain what kobo is kobo is just another platform it's a canadian marketplace that allow people self-publish their books just the way amazon is right amazon is a u.s platform that allow people publish their book just that amazon have a broader or a higher chances of making lots of sales and you know it's a very big platform unlike kobo okay so let's um if you're new just click, click on create kobo account okay so all you need to do here is fill in your details your email and your um you put your email confirm your email and password now you have to note that your password has to be minimum of eight characters um and it has to be numbers and symbol will be inside there should be uppercase there should be lowercase okay so i'm going to be using a friend's details i'm going to be using a friend's details since i already opened that account so i got his permission to use um help him open the account so i'm literally going to be using his details to create this account so his name his name is um his email Okay, I got it wrong. Sorry. I will try to also cover this thing so that it doesn't show. So repeat the email then password minimum of eight characters i'll just use this now this is what you should note note that it should be eight it should not be it can be more than eight or but it should not be less than eight there should be numbers there should be symbol and there should be an uppercase okay symbol can be let's say dollar sign comma full stop you get then when you're putting in your your password there should be an alphabet um that starts with there should be capital letter and small letter on it okay so let's continue please click on each entity similar to the following sil silhouettes something similar to this okay let's try something let's try something something similar so that they are doing this to confirm if we are if if you are a human being right so they will send you an email which you are to verify so i'm not going to verify it here i'm just going to do it with the person's phone since um it's not mine so but once you go to your email you will see the place where you are asked to verify all you have to do is click on verify email so let me verify it and come back again all right guys once you're done confirming it's going to appear this way so let's put it on desktop site so that we can have a clearer view on how it is or how will i put the english just let's just have a clearer view okay so coming here you see where they wrote first name last name publisher name they've already impl imputed the email address so this first name and your last name which is your surname and your other name then publisher name as you can see this publisher name is optional please if you see here they wrote required 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 so but this publisher they didn't put anything here that's because it's optional now for those of you that will be asking what's publisher name publisher name is let's say the name of publishing houses you know there are a lot of people that are 
all independent publishers that have a publishing company or a publishing house for example new times roman a uh, publishing house example uh -huh. you can put it there if you have a publishing house or you can even use an author name to do your publisher name but i would advise you to just keep it because you won't even be needing this publisher name eventually you can put in something else when you're publishing as your publisher name when it's time to publish you can use your author name as your publisher name when it's time to publish so let's fill this place so first name we'll say put the first name and last name okay like i said this this place is optional so we can leave it select country if you're nigeria put nigeria if you're ghana look for your country sometimes this thing is scattered so just look for your own it's not necessarily going to be where n is or where g is for Ghanaians. i know i have two major people which is Ghanaians and uh, nigerians so students so street address just put your 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 um street address then street address two you see they didn't put required here so it's optional we can leave it then for province states which is the state delta states your state delta states city Ugeli. then postal or zip code so for those of you that don't know how to get your postal code or zip code all you have to do is let's let me just minimize and go to browser and search for zip code my location so i'll just come here and type zip code um ugeli yeah zip code ugeli zip code your city so this is the zip code let me just copy it three 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 one zero five so let me put it okay so once you're done with that this place they said get email about cobra writing live news when your ebooks are published when your updates to your books are live i'll just put all of them because i want to get any updates about kobo so just click on it okay so here is where you accept the attempts and condition you, you can read the attempts of services okay so once you're done reading it reading all of these things click on i have read and understand and agree to the terms and service then save and continue let's save okay you save and continue i guess another email will be sent let me check please okay so an email will be sent for you to confirm registration because i'm working with the other phone so all you have to do in that email if you open it you see where they wrote activate account all you have to do is click on activate account click on activate account and that didn't work so at the top you see where they wrote click here click on that place they wrote click here click here once you click it it will take you to another place or let me just i copy the link so let me just paste it here but you don't need to do this just click on click here once you click on click here it's going to bring you to this place okay now they will say there's one last part of kobo writing life account you have to complete before you can start selling your ebooks start publishing okay once you're done with that click on start publishing and your account is being created as you can see but then again before we start thinking of publishing books just the way it is your account is created so the next thing is for you to go ahead and publish but before you publish you want to set up your account details come here click on my account okay you see my account see your payment history contact information and the likes of them so we want to um, work on our payment information to fill our bank information so come here click on bank information add if you're if if you're if you're here or if you're my student i believe you already know how to open a foreign account with gray because you can actually use it so um you can use your gray bank account to open a foreign account number 
but if you don't have it i'm going to drop the link on how to open the foreign account number it's also on my youtube channel i'm going to drop a video on how to open a foreign account number in the description of this video i'm going to try um, to drop it okay so i believe you already have your account details if you've gotten to this place so put your country is united kingdom because i'm using a mine is united kingdom because it's a euro account i'm using so enter your iban number so click on once you're done putting your iban number click on search location they are going to bring location confirm the location look at your bank details to see if it's the same location they are going to bring out for me they are bringing out the same location this is the location my this thing is showing so click then you confirm it for some people they might bring out different different location you just have to look for your location and search for it okay so enter account uh, name of account holder you put in the name of account holder and that's it put in the name of account number save changes and our account is being updated so with this now you have successfully created your account number to navigate your dashboard let's say you make any sale you can come here click on dashboard you check for your sales okay then this place where they wrote ebook you click on it this is where you can start publishing your book if you want to publish click on create new ebook i'm going to make another video on how to publish on kobo okay exclusively for my students then so that is all for that auto services this ones you don't need the all this information so that is all for that make sure to like make sure to like this video comment if you have any question comment under this post and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel click on the notification bell so you don't miss any update i'm gonna drop on kobo i might drop the video on how to publish i might not so but just click on the notification bell if i get enough comments i get enough like i might drop the video on how to publish or how to publish on kobo writing life good luck